In this problem, we have an infinite series, and the question is to determine if it converges or diverges, and if it converges, find the sum. So this appears to be a geometric series. So geometric series generally look like this. You have some number, and then times r to the n, or, or maybe some number, and then like r to the n minus 1. Something like this is considered geometric. So here the thing is we have an n and an n plus 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in a way that will allow us to write it in one of these forms. So I'm thinking maybe we can do something like this. This is the infinite sum from 0 to infinity of pi to the n over, and then on the bottom, we can do this. We can write it as 3 to the n times 3 to the 1. And the reason you can do that is because when you multiply these numbers, um, because the bases are the same, you end up adding the exponents. So this is just a nice way to do it. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 uh, to infinity. And now we can combine these two because they're both uh, to the nth power. So this is pi over 3 to the n. Really cool. And then this one here on the bottom is 3. We can pull it out and write it as a 1 -third. Okay, now it looks better, right? You see your a is one third. Everything looks a little bit better. Your r now is a little more clear. It's pi over three. Okay, so now we can use what's called the geometric series test. So I'll do it over here. So G S T. So geometric series test says if the absolute value of r is less than one, then your series uh, will converge. So it converges. And if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, um, then your series uh, diverges. So here we have to figure out what's the absolute value of our r. So the absolute value of r is just the absolute value of pi over 3, which is just pi over 3. And so actually, we don't even need a calculator, right? Because pi is a little bit bigger than 3. It's like 3.1459, etc., right? It goes on forever. So this is a, a fraction bigger than 1. So this will diverge. So it diverges. And you can do this if you want to be really close. I mean, that's correct, but if you want to make it like match the test, you can do this. So it diverges by the geometric series test. And that's it. So we have a divergent um, series and that completes the question for some reason i was looking at this and thinking at the beginning like oh it's going to converge yeah sure but like i guess i didn't really didn't really think about it too much until we got here <laughs> i'm like wait a minute no that's, that's bigger than one so game over right this thing diverges uh, i hope this video uh, has been helpful good luck